the Golden State Warriors changed the NBA once again. As you all know, the Warriors won the NBA 2022 NBA Championship and has caused a lot of other teams to go into panic mode to keep up with the Golden State Warriors. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about five moves that happened this offseason that honestly have changed the NBA because of the Golden State Warriors. And I will have to say the last big move is honestly going to surprise you. So make sure you like this video. And if you do want more Golden State Warriors content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys 99% of you are not subscribed and you're watching my videos I see how it is okay now nah, but mean the world if you can subscribe but let's get into the first big move and the first big move being Kevin Durant asking for a trade from the Brooklyn Nets now I think this did come as a surprise to everyone but I think it definitely was the reason that Golden State Warriors won another championship without Kevin Durant when he departed and Wodge actually said this in her interview the Warriors winning a championship played a factor in this I think it exasperated Kevin Durant's frustration. I think it's a narrative that surrounded him that he dealt with the aftermath of him leaving Golden State and then going on to win a title without him. Contrasted with that has gone on in, in Brooklyn in these last three years. And I think that is definitely true. A lot of people thought when Kevin Durant left Golden State Warriors, that was it for the Warriors. And we did see a little bit of a downfall. But it's safe to say, since the departure of Kevin Durant, Golden State Warriors have done much, much better than the Brooklyn Nets in the past three years and I think you know definitely Kevin Durant was a great player for the team however it does show that the Warriors can do it without KD they have Steph they have Clay, they have Draymond and they also have other big players that can step up to the plate such as Wiggins so I think this first move was honestly a surprise to everyone from him leaving Brooklyn but it definitely comes at a very very coincidental time when Warriors win the championship and I think KD does want to win a ring and he will do that with any cause possible the reason why i say that is because the two teams he actually decided or he actually wants to go to is phoenix and miami heat now to give you an understanding on why he chose those two teams guys those two teams were the top two teams last season okay phoenix had the best record miami heat also had the best record in the east and he wants to go to both of those top teams okay kevin durant is literally doing what he did when he left okc to join Warriors. It literally makes no sense. It honestly does seem that Kevin Durant is trying to give an impression that, you know, I'm better off without the Golden State Warriors. And that's just simply not true. Curry, Clay, you know, Andrew Wiggins, Draymond, they're all doing better without KD and the Warriors. And I think it's honestly funny to see that, that the tables have turned. So, you know, that was definitely a huge move and it hasn't really been decided where the, whether Kevin Durant is going to go, you know, somewhere to a contending team. Or I've heard there have been talks with Toronto Raptors of that nature so it's really still dependent on where he ends up but him definitely asking for a trade that's definitely because the Golden State Warriors won the chip once again now moving on to big move number two is actually Kevin Durant's teammate Kyrie Irving Kyrie Irving definitely has had a bit of a career in the last two years because he's been the probably the most hated player and most loved player by some people it's very very 50 50 on whether you love him or hate him however I do have to say that him wanting to get traded to join back with LeBron definitely says a lot. I think he definitely is done with the Brooklyn Nets and he wants to join, you know, LeBron again to try to win another championship because he realized that he can't win it over there in Brooklyn Nets. Now, I think the reason also why he wants to join them is so he can take down Golden State Warriors because LeBron is playing in the West as well. So this move is definitely a move where, you know, Kyrie will do anything to win a championship again and he'll join the best team possible possible that he thinks and to his eyes that's definitely the Lakers but Golden State Warriors definitely had an effect I think a lot of these teams are panicking because guys to see a team go from the top of the leaderboard you know with KD to him leaving and then a bunch of injuries and dropping to the last team and coming back to win the championship again a lot of these other organizations and also players are starting to realize or starting to think that you know another Golden State Warriors legacy is on the way and it's going to be just as long as the one before you know Golden State Warriors have been so consistent over the past 10 years it's honestly ridiculous and I absolutely love that for the Golden State Warriors but Kyrie definitely wants to go back and verse Golden State Warriors again you know probably in the conference finals since he's going to be you know hopefully playing for the Lakers and I think that's definitely a move motivated towards the Golden State Warriors so the third big move caused by the Warriors was the Dallas Mavericks acquiring Christian Wood and JaVale McGee now I think this came to a lot of surprises 
but for them to get another big man it does say a lot about how that the conference finals actually ended as you all know Curry was definitely doing his thing against Dallas you know they just played such a great series and that's why they made it to the finals however where Dallas was actually struggling was with Kavon Looney and Draymond Green if you guys want to watch the replay of those games or of that whole series you'll see that players such as Kavon Looney Draymond and even sometimes Andrew Wiggins were really taking advantage of Kleber and all these other bigs that they had at the time when it came to the Dallas Mavericks and I think Dallas definitely saw that and they definitely saw that they were getting exploited in that way and that's why they acquired some backup in Christian Wood which was a pretty good pickup I do have to admit and also JaVale McGee which is a great pickup as well but against Kavon Looney I'm sorry I'm gonna pick Kavon Looney every single time guys Kavon Looney is honestly a beast and having Draymond Green is only even better and James Wiseman is definitely coming back next season so I'm telling you sorry Dallas Mavericks fans you're gonna have trouble stopping the Golden State Warriors but this move was definitely targeted at solving the problem they had against the Warriors when it came to that conference finals because they didn't really put up a great fight against the Warriors as you all know Golden State really did take out that series very very easily it didn't even go to game seven and that's the conference finals so you know I think that move of getting Christian Wood and JaVale McGee is going to try to you know solve that solution of having Kavon Looney absolutely dominate and also Draymond will it work we're gonna have to see next season but I still got my money on the Golden State Warriors for sure so another big move was actually from an ex Dallas Mavericks player which is Jalen Brunson moving to the New York Knicks now I think this came to a lot of people's surprise that why didn't the Dallas actually re-sign him for another season or maybe given a contract extension but it was made clear that Jalen Brunson did want to move teams I think the conference finals did really frustrate him that he got absolutely blown out against the Golden State Warriors and it is tough to see that however he absolutely moved all the way to the east and is now playing for the New York Knicks now is he running from Golden State I probably wouldn't say that but I definitely think he does get a sigh of relief that in the playoff time he doesn't have to go up against this Golden State Warriors team and I know a lot of teams in the east really do feel that sigh of relief that they don't have to go up against the Warriors when it comes playoff time you know we have seen this time and time again but Warriors have honestly dominated the West for you know the past eight to ten years and you know I think a lot of players sometimes tend to move to the east in order to get away from them so they can at least make it into the finals so another big move is also Rudy Gobert going to the Timberwolves I think that was honestly a huge move and he still will be going up against the Golden State Warriors so that is going to be tough for them however they do think they're stronger and they do think they are going to be able to stop players like Kevon Looney Draymond Green with that acquired trade of Rudy Gobert see a lot of people do think you know Curry is a problem Clay's a problem you know Andrew Wiggins and yes they do cause so much damage to teams it is honestly ridiculous however some of the things that people really lack on is having really good bigs that can guard players such as Draymond and Kevon Looney you know this game is definitely built off guards right now so you have a lot of superstar guards who are able to you know somewhat keep up with Clay or Steph or any of people of that nature however when it comes to finding a good big that can actually contain Draymond and Kevon Looney that is very very hard to find and you can see teams that's why this season you see a lot of centers or big men moving you know here and there because they are looking to try to solve that problem that Kevon Looney has been calling okay I think a lot of people don't give enough respect to Kevon Looney I should have just changed this title to why Kevon Looney is the GOAT but on a serious note you know Steph Clay they're gonna keep doing what they're doing but finding bigs that can actually stop Draymond and Kevon and you know potentially James Wiseman next season is going to be tough and that's why you see a lot of big men moving and I think is it going to be enough to stop Warriors I don't really think so because you're going to have to try to guard all these five players who are dominant on both ends of the floor you know it is going to be tough and that's why they are a championship team and that's why they absolutely dominated the 2022 playoffs and big move number five that was caused by the Golden State Warriors is Boston Celtics acquiring Malcolm Brogdon as you all know Malcolm Brogdon is a point guard and who was the one that torched the Boston Celtics last series yes that's your boy Steph Curry and 
I think it was definitely obvious. As you all know, Malcolm Brogdon is actually a point guard. He is a great scorer, but he is a good defensive player as well. And I think that's what he really did provide, uh, you know, to other teams in the past, you know, such as Milwaukee and others. But when it comes to him or Boston Celtics acquiring him, I definitely see this move as someone that can actually guard Steph Curry next season if they end up facing them in the finals or also in the regular season. You know, they traded away some big players, Daniel Tice, to name a few, a couple of picks. So for them to go all in on Malcolm Brogdon, a point guard, when they already have some pretty solid point guards already, you know, in Derek White and all that, you know, I think it really does show that they are looking for a defensive point guard that can actually stop Steph Curry. So, you know, it just shows how big of an impact Steph Curry doesn't only have in the game, but also in in the league and it really does have organization make serious decisions based off it not just Steph as well you know don't forget Clay don't forget Andrew Wiggins Draymond Kavon all these great players the whole team in general a lot of organizations when they're making moves you know when it comes to trading a player or acquiring a player they are really looking at how that's going to match up against the Golden State Warriors and if it's possible to actually beat them if they do release that player or acquire them so I think it's honestly hilarious to see that you know, it's great to see that Golden State Warriors have that much of an impact on this game and that much of an influence on how teams actually structure, you know, their whole roster. So I think, you know, what's going to be happening next season, I can definitely see Golden State Warriors, even with all these big moves, still making it to the NBA Finals or definitely even just the Conference Finals. And it is going to be interesting if they can go back to back. But thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. Hope you did enjoy. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Peace.